Okay, so we've got my Freewing MiG-29 here. Um, I'm just deciding to do a mod. I think I was kind of just honestly bored with this one. Um, but I think it'll be kind of nice. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the uh, main landing gear doors internally onto the fuselage. Um, normally, you've got the doors which are mounted to the actual wings. And honestly, I think also just they stick out so much and they just make it really weird for storage. I, I don't know. And also the real ones do um, actually have the doors here on the fuse. Um, so what I'm planning to do is, you know, I'll have the doors actuating and now I'll take my lights and I'll have them mounted true to the MIG and they'll be at the uh, bottom of the door there. But all I'm really doing to do this, I've just basically glued a little piano wire rod across the, uh, this edge of the door, uh, cut the hinges off there. And then, um, right now I've got, I've just used little pieces of plastic I've cut holes into and those slot into the foam. And that now gives me a hinging point right there. Okay, so got the servo installed for the uh, door now. So pretty much just epoxied in my own little horn on the inside of the door. Servo's embedded right there. And then the wire um, feeds through the channel of the retract lead as well. So that's all tucked away there. This lead is just for my um, second or third landing light, which... I'll probably end up downsizing just because these are going to be a little bit bulky to try and get them to fit down into here. So I might order one from the uh, the J10 and, you know, I'll try to get that to work. Um, it'll just fit a little better. But you can see, so the servo can bring us all the way down and all the way back up. And the end travel is pretty much, if I can get it here, vertical. So stays nice and firm and in its place to really just keep it out of the way of the, uh, of the wheel. Okay, so got the doors, both sides installed, functioning, etc. So here they are in action. So put the gear down, doors come up, and there we are. Gear pops right up, pulling the gear up. You'll see it come in here in just a second. Tucks right away in there, and the doors shut, just like that. And these end up fitting really nicely with how my hinge point was set up. And um, you know, they're really, I'm putting some really decent force. I mean, they're pulled down really nice and tight. So these things are gonna go absolutely nowhere. So I'm really happy about how uh, that came out. So. Next thing I gotta do is figure out where these lights are gonna go, how I'm gonna fit them into here. Um, Cause ideally they're gonna sit, you know, on the outside of the door so that when the doors open, they'll be lower. Um, the thing is, these are pretty bulky, uh, especially for an extern, like a uh, main gear door light. So I'll probably end up getting a smaller landing light, something that'll fit the uh, fit inside better. So it'll all be nice and clean. And then now I'm, I'm going to um, clean up this little edge here and then make that flush as well. Um, and I'll probably just also, just because I'll probably just add a small little external door here as well. Um, that'll probably just be, you know, spring closed and it'll be kept open by the strut when it's open. And I think that will um, really kind of clean up this underside of the jet here. So, yeah. All right, so I've got... This light working, so now I've got my uh, two lights right there. And here is the um, function of it. Just like that, gear comes in. Then it closes up. Nice and tidy. Gear comes back down. And lights come back on. All right, so finally got my uh, landing gear mod finished up on the uh, the MiG-29 here. So um, to show you the full functionality and both doors are going, let's drop the gear. So now the door is open from the inside. Um, basically they stay mounted to the fuselage. Got the lights mounted right there. Um, there's one and there is two. 
so yeah, I really like it. Um, hopefully it should show up pretty nicely in the day. Um, I had to end up, these were too big, which is what I was originally using. These were just too big to be able to fit onto the door. So I basically had to just remove the lights, really cut down the heat sinks that they're built onto. And then I made my own little uh, lens and enclosure just to kind of help clean it up a little bit. And I still got to come in. I got to paint these uh, leads, these wires white right there as well, just to kind of help it blend a little bit. But yeah, I'm overall really happy with it. So you could see the, uh, the motion and the clearances of it all coming in. There we go, it just tucks away perfectly. And then the door is shut and all is sealed. Just like that. And so now you can see that when I pull the wings off, um, if I can get them to pull off here, you'll see that the door stays right there. So yeah. Thank you guys for uh, checking this one out. And then, you know, I, I fidget with things a lot. So I'll probably have some more small things I'm going to do this jet.